So first, how disappointed are you to have lost your starting job to Elmer Fudd? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty disappointed. Um, yeah, I think it was a very comical thing uh, to put our depth chart out like that. So um, I'm disappointed, but I, I, you know, I, I'll be behind him the whole way. So my real question is, Ted already talked about the, about the confidence of this team. Are you feeling that offensively and like the preparation is the same as it's been the last two weeks and you guys are just treating it like you have every other game so far? Yeah, definitely. You know, I think there's a misconception when uh, it's it's easy to, I guess, not have as much focus um, when there's a big team like Michigan uh, coming up on your schedule. But, you know, for the first two weeks, we've had great, great focus. You know, I, I say it every week, you know, each game, uh, that's the one coming is the championship game to me. And so um, each team, you know, we've had great confidence, great focus each week. And that doesn't change for this week. You know, Michigan's a great team. You know, and we'll be ready to play, especially on the offensive side this week. How far even in your mind will this go toward determining or answering the question how good this team is after kind of very impressive performances the first two weeks, but not completely answering the, the question? You know, I think each week, when you go out and play Team X, you know, whatever team it is that, that week, I think each week you need to go out there and prove, you know, to yourself and to your teammates and to everyone that, you, that you're a good team. You know, I think it's easy to, you know, be satisfied with two wins and then go out there and be like, oh, okay, you know, it's time to slack off. But with this team, you know, we're, we're so focused, you know, especially the four years I've been here, we haven't won a lot of games. And so we want to leave this program in a better state than we left it. And so each game we're treating with the utmost importance. And each week we want to go out there and prove ourselves and prove that we can play with anyone and, and beat anyone. 100,000 fans, different type of atmosphere. As an offensive player, what are the keys to, you think, having success in that type of environment? Uh, focus, locking in, and uh, just being consistent. You know, I think when you go into a, um, I guess, big environment like that, it's easy to um, – lose focus and be in awe, I guess, of the spectacle of how big the place is. But you know, I'm not worried about the offense. You know, I, we've been practicing already um, twice this week, and we'll be ready for, you know, whatever you know, um, big scene they have for us or anything like that. Dovetailing onto that question, the, the heartbeat will probably, I would imagine, will be a little bit faster. I, with all due respect to your first two opponents, this is a different kind of challenge. Um, how do you... As someone that's been around this game as long as you have and has had as much success, how do you help your guys slow down instead of speed up? Because mm -hmm. that's what you have to do in an environment like this a little bit, doesn't it? Not necessarily. Um, yes and no. I mean, we're kind of a fast-paced offense, and so we'll be, we'll be trying to move up and down. I'm talking about the heartbeat. I'm talking about the heartbeat. Yeah, I think after the first play, we'll be all right. You know, I think that being a team of competitors – um, we'll be jacked up for the game. And, I mean, it hasn't been any different. You know, I, like you said, you believe that there's a different class and quality between the teams. And um, whether it's true or not, you know, I, we've been treating each game the same. You know, it, we'll be excited for Michigan. Obviously, when you play, you know, a very uh, predominant powerhouse team or whatever people want to label them as, we'll, we're excited to play. You know, we want to play the best. We want to beat the best. And so... Um, I just think after that first play, and once you get that one out of the way, um, everyone will be fine. You know, it, it's always the same way. You know, if you love the game and you're a competitor, you'll have those butterflies. And if you don't, in my mind, you don't really care. Um, and it just becomes too normal for you. And so we'll, we'll be ready to play. And then um, the heartbeat should be down after one play. What have you seen from Michigan on film? A defense. Um, cover one. I, nothing. Any, it's not like they reinvented the wheel or anything. Um, they're just a a great defense that what they run, they run it very well. You know, I think that's what kind of separates them from the first two teams that we've played this uh, in this season. So they've got some players over there too, you know, which is fine. You know, you, like I said, being a competitor, you want to play against the best. And, you know, they're going to make some plays. You know, it's, it's the nature of the game. But we'll make some plays too. And, um, you know, our goal is to be consistent and make more plays than they make this week. Who would you compare uh, Jabril Peppers to? As a player on our yeah, team, or yeah, just as a player on our team. Uh, probably Cheeto. Um, he might be a little bigger. I don't. I don't know. I don't look at like his height and weight and all that. But uh, just from looking at on film, you know, he's a very athletic player. Um, plays in a lot of different positions um, from what I've seen so far, and so they'll probably move him around and 
Um, I've seen him play safety linebacker, but, you know, we're not going to focus too much on him. You know, he's a great player. You, know, you can't, you know, take that away from him. But uh, we've got some great players, too, on the perimeter that um, we look to have him make some plays this week. So if it comes down to a Hail Mary, how far can you throw it? Um, you know, I, I, I know it's in reference to the other game. You know, I – Hopefully it doesn't come down to Hail Mary, you know, and if we if it does come down to Hail Mary, um, I'll get the ball in the end zone. You've obviously seen the miracle of Michigan before. Just your thoughts on the play and what stands out to you about that play? Um, it was a great play to win the game, and um, we've heard about it um, a lot um, being here. Not, not this week because we're focused on ourselves and um, focused on, you know, just playing them um, play for play, and, you know, hopefully it doesn't come down to Hail Mary. Cordell always said that they practice that weekly, and it never really came off in practice as well as it did in that game. Do you guys practice Hail Mary? We do, yeah, um, and not not specifically for this game, but we practice. Uh, you you name a situation, we probably practice it. You know, we practice situation situational stuff um, every week um, for almost every situation you could possibly think of. Um, if something happened in a like a game last week, for instance, um, we'll probably practice that situation just in case we get stuck in it for whatever reason. How much are you guys thirsting to create your own moment? It's interesting listening to you guys, and the inevitable question comes up about that game 22 years ago. It, it, is it almost like that's great and it's fine, it's part of CU history and we celebrate that, but we desperately want to create our own moment. How much is is that fueling you guys at this point? Um, I don't know. I don't know if we really think about it, to be honest. You know, I'm not taking any disrespect. It was a great play um, 22 years ago. Um, but we're mainly focused on ourselves and trying to turn a program around because especially w when you struggle so much through three the first three years that I've been here, um, we just want to be really consistent and, and win a lot of games this year. I think that's our main goal, and I don't think we're looking for a moment, but moments, you know, in the season, um, because, you know, like I said, we're trying to, trying to treat every game like a championship game, and I just want to win every game. Every game that's left, I don't care who we play, I don't care who we line up against. Like I want to win that game, and you know, it, that that's all we're focusing on right now as a team. So, with the changes you guys made offensively uh, during the off season. Um, how important has it been for you guys to have some success the first two games to really build the confidence of the guys? Just know you guys can run this offense. It's a good question. Um, I think that the the biggest thing is that in the first two weeks, you know, the plays that we had in, we repped them over and over and over again. And, you know, we're doing the same thing this week. And, you know, if anything, the first two weeks have showed us the potential that we have. And we've we've made mistakes in the first two weeks, but that's, that's bound to happen. And, you know, we've learned from those mistakes. And, it's just built our confidence. You know, we've seen what we can accomplish, what we can do as offense, both in the running and the passing game. And, you know, we want to build off of that and continue to do that. You know, even if you play a great team, great defense like Michigan, you know, you, the goal doesn't change. You know, we have a certain set goal for each – or goals for each week that you know, we want to accomplish and we want to go out there and um, basically be the same every week. And if we can, do better than the week before. And so that's our goal going in this week. You know, I don't really care who lines up against us and, you know, what defensive scheme they have. You know, we want to go out there and we want to execute and we want to score points, score touchdowns. Uh, given your, your injury and your uncertainty in the off season, did a switch flip where you said, I know I'm 100% now? And how are you now? Uh, I'm on top of the world right now. Um, you know, it's just great to be back and playing. You know, I think that with the injury that I had, it was never a certain thing that I was going to be back and playing. And so ultimately it's a blessing, you know, and I'm, I'm thankful for everyone that helped me to, to get back, all the doctors and trainers. And so, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just thankful to be back. Thanks, guys.